Welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope it's going to get even better. So obviously today is part two of making the Damascus steel tin whistle, 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 whistle. There we go. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Now, I'm going to be using my lathe today. This is a Colchester student lathe. Beautiful little bit of kit. Um, and I should also add, I am not a machinist by any stretch of the imagination. So this is going to be an exciting learning and educational project for me. And I'm very excited to, uh, to make some good mistakes, learn from them, and hopefully at the end of the day, have a beautiful Damascus tin whistle to show you all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I have it chucked up right now with about three inches sticking out. Obviously, it's a little more than I probably ideally like, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a light facing cut, then I'm going to put a center drill in, and then I'm going to be able to pull it out a little bit, put, uh, put a uh, live center in the tailstock of the vise, and then be able to uh, turn up a little bit more of the length uh, without having to worry about too much deflection and vibration. <laughs> So right now I've got a relatively concentric 25 millimeter inch bar or so. I've got centers on the end. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take a short 13 millimeter drill bit, start the hole. Once I run out of drill bit, I'm then gonna move to my long 13 millimeter drill bit. I'll go in from both ends, meet in the middle, and then I'm gonna end up moving onto the mill. See what I did there? And now I'm gonna see how straight it looks. It felt like it was pretty clean as it was uh, as it was coming through. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. This is uh, this is looking great. So I've now got it clamped up in the vise. Whether I've got it clamped up in the vise correctly is yet to be seen. We'll find that out um, when it either stays in the vise or comes flying out of the vise and hits me in the face. I took a feeler gauge and I went from one end to the other, making sure that I just get just the same amount of friction as I pass the cutter over. Doing this certainly is likely not to be AVE approved. Sorry, man, I, I do apologize. I'm not a machinist, I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, but I, I think I got it pretty close, uh, probably closer than I was able to get it with the DTI. So that's very good. I'm happy with how that worked with the feeler gauges. So I've got it up there and I've got my, uh, I've got my mill in here because I want to make just the slightest flat spot. A lot of you guys recommended I should do that yesterday. Thank you very much. Great idea, because then with that slight flat spot, it's gonna give uh, give my drill bits something a lot easier to bite into than trying to bite into the top of a round. So I'm gonna do that little slight flat spot, then we're gonna be able to switch in some drills and uh, start drilling holes in the appropriate location. <laughs> what I've got of the Damascus steel pipe whistle so far. I've got all the holes in, they're spaced the exact same as the original, and I have pretty much the same bore going down it. Now this is much longer. I'm gonna be going back into the lathe right now. And like I said, you guys left some incredible suggestions in the past video, and one of those suggestions was for me to uh, be turning between centers, which is I believe where you have a center in the chuck, you have a center um, in your tail stock, and then you have a lathe dog. I think I'm gonna need to make a lathe dog, because I don't have one. Since I don't have one, the best I'm gonna be able to do is bet on the fact that this is a little long right here for this length, 
So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to chuck up just a little bit, maybe like an inch and a half, have the other end in a center, and now I'm going to be reducing this diameter, getting a nice finish on it, and then of course getting the diameter I need for the nozzle. The nozzle I'm going to use is going to be from this black pipe whistle here. It's tuned the same, so it should be able to then match the other one. Okay, so it's been band sword. I'm gonna take this end off here. We're gonna put it on here. God, I'm excited to see how this sounds. Benedict, if you could do the honors of seeing how this sounds for the first time. I made a pipe whistle! So of course, as you guys will remember from all my other Damascus builds, whenever I make something out of Damascus, I always harden it. It gives a better contrast. I don't think it's gonna affect the tone though, however, because even already between the sheet metal one and this much thicker Damascus steel one, there's not much of a difference in tone. So I don't think hardening it's gonna change it too much, but I'm gonna light the forge, keep it on low, and uh, then quench it in the oil and temper it in the oven at 230 degrees Celsius. <laughs> This has been heat treated, it's now ready for the final polish, and then the etch. Very exciting. Now, I didn't want to do this on the lathe, and I don't want to do this on the lathe, because I don't want to get dragged into the lathe and dragged through it. Um, so what I'm going to do, in fact, is I'm going to take a drill bit, hold this in my drill, put the drill bit inside here. We have a problem, though, because it spins. So I'm going to try and wrap this in some tape force it in. Once that's in there, I'm then going to go to the belt grinder. I'm going to go to an 120 grit ceramic, a 240 grit zirconium, then to a trizact belt before we go into the etch. Final polish on this with some 2000 grit, wet and dry, and a mug of water. Thanks, Benedict. Great playing. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you haven't checked out part one, be sure to check that out. I'll leave a square up here at the end of the video. Other than that, thank you very much, Benedict. It was his idea for me to make this pipe whistle. What a brilliant project. I'm really excited to have made this. Benedict is, in fact, helping organize a blacksmithing event in Germany. He's from Germany. And uh, if you're in Europe in July, or you want to make a trip to Europe. It's a great event. I've been to it. It's a lot of fun. It's called The Hammer In. I'll leave a link to that below. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of my other videos and then hit subscribe. And of course, part one is right here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.